I decided to do some painty papers today. Actually, <clears throat> I decided last night and I made a bunch. What am I helping you with, honey? I went through those baskets. You gotta go through the stuff on the floor where the baskets were. Can you help me buy some cars? I looked for cars. And I have to turn on another device. So if you're chatting, I don't see it just yet. I don't see what you're saying. I don't know what's going on here. I guess it's doing something, an update, of course. Only when I have to go live, this thing is gonna update so that I cannot see chat right away. So I hope everybody is doing good today. I know that a lot of people in the Midwest were having some rough weather and then they passed it on over to us. So thanks, thanks for that. We're just getting rain. We're not getting any of the, any of the other yucks, any of the other yuckos. I'm just gonna ugh, share my <clears throat> stream. So if you're here, I'm sorry, this is boring. This is boring to start with. This is my old phone, so it's really, it's really slow. It's had some, seen better days. It's an antique in the phone world. But I was going to make a video, and then I decided to go live instead. Good morning, Anne. See, now I can see chat. Now I can see it. Yeah. Oops, I just closed it. some junk. Okay. <clears throat> I hope you're not getting any bad weather down in Florida, Ann. Uh, it's been kind of, it's been raining pretty hard here. Painty papers. All right, so last night I started painting green stuff, so that's what I'm working on is green. Everything is going to be green until I decide to change, until I decide to, you know, spruce it up. But for right now, I'm working on green papers for a green project that I am going to be doing greenily. I'm going to make some Christmas trees, and I want to do it out of painty papers because I love the, um, you know, the variety of color and texture that painty papers provide us with. And I'm doing it on a bunch of my junk papers that I keep in a box and hoard, I guess. So I've got a collection of papers to paint. Never a shortage of papers to paint. And uh, 
I've just been going to town. Last night I got covered. My hands were just covered in paint because I just was trying to slap a whole bunch of paint down. I got I walked through a spider web earlier. I still feel like it's on me. Look at how weird this paint is. Where is it? I got this on clearance at Joanne's a long time ago. It's like water. It's like water. Super dissolve. I ordered myself lamps. There, let there be light. I ordered myself lamps, so they should be here. They, it says Friday. It's really like, what do I pay for a prime for? Because it seems like they're just getting longer later and later on their stinking delivery. But I ordered myself new lamps because my lamp, not the one I just turned on, but the one I use normally, it's uh, it falls down on me. Because it's one of those ones that's got the little lamp that hangs down and the big lamp that goes up. And it, um, it's just, you know, it's, it's on, it's standing on a little tiny, thin, skinny little pole. So the pole is bent. It won't stay in its home anymore. So it keeps falling, literally falling onto me and my desk. Last night, I made a video for someone because she, I have a, I have someone that wants to buy some stuff for me. And like my lamp just falls down mid video i'm like oh yeah this is great i'm getting buried by a lamp hi stephanie see speak of the devil that's the one how i made the video for my lamp just fell down on me in the middle of my video so i ordered two of the clamps the ones that clamp to your desk and they have a magnifying glass in the middle so i'm kind of i'm excited to get those So, yep, just a lot of green. I'm gonna, I do some, I've been like, you know, sprinkling metallic green here and there. You know, shake it up a bit. I put a little bit of glitter last night. And, um, you know, I'm just hoping I have enough to make myself some Christmas trees. I got the idea from a stamping tin magazine. Um, that was from a few years. It was from, I don't know, 2011, I think. I found it at a thrift store. See, we'll add some metallic to these ones, too. So I found it at a thrift store. And I loved the idea of making these little Christmas trees out of paper circles. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make these into circles and make them into little trees happy little trees it's gonna be a build a tree workshop my house and actually speaking of building stuff at my house uh our countertop is just about finished so that's exciting it's been eight years i haven't had a real counter had plywood, which is hard to do anything on. Everything we did was on cutting board. So it's going to be nice to finally have counters. Nice and metallic. -y. And if you're like me, you have nowhere to dry things. So just kind of pile them up. Hope for the best. I still, I, I tried to drink coffee this weekend. I haven't been able to drink coffee since COVID, since I had COVID in July. Still can't do it. Still doesn't, just doesn't taste right or smell right to me, you know? But I didn't wipe this off last night, so it's still got paint on the blade. These work really good. These Bondo scrapers. They work really good for um, to do scraping paint like I like to do. So they do, you know, big swatches at a time. So if you're trying to do detailed scraping, they're not really the best for that. But if you're trying to cover a page like I do and then I detail it later, 
These are what you want. So I bought mine at Lowe's. Don't buy them at Lowe's. One of my glue book videos that I did recently. Um, was it my junk roll video, I think? I have a link for these on Amazon. Looks like snakes. There's just snakes hanging out on the paper. Green snakes. I hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving holiday weekend. I know that a lot of people have been sick. Yeah, my junk roll video. These things are awesome. I love them. I keep one. I'm keeping this one clean just for um, burnishing glue. But look, I already got paint on it. <laughs> so we'll have to put that aside. Uh, but yeah, I'm keeping one. It's a pack of three or four, and I, I'm going to keep one clean. And um, I'll have one for paint. Well, I have an extra one. I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe it'll be for paint. Maybe. I have these glitter. I got these glitter paints from Home Depot long ago. Actually, it was Christmas time, and they have, you know, sometimes, like, the hardware stores have, you know, non- hardware related things well they have this whole stand of acrylic paints like that like a craft paint and it came with the glitter it was like 24 colors it came with glitter and it came with metallic well the glitter survived the move down here but the metallics hardened up so really stunk I was really upset because I had I hadn't used them I bought them and I put them away, and then we moved, and then I didn't use them. So, yeah. Pretty upset. Pretty disappointed. I tried to paint over a staple last night, and it just really stunk. So, take that out. <clears throat> but, um, it feels nice to be making painting papers again. Every once in a while, you got to have some paint therapy, right? Paint therapy. I don't know. Check. Where's my, where's my watercolor? My water green. This has been like this since I bought it. I don't know why it's just water. Maybe that's why Joanne's had it on clearance. That was defective. That was defective paint. Now, I thought about doing, like, you know, I'm doing different shades. And then maybe doing little detailed stencil work in white. You know, or stamping, you know, in a white. Or in a very light green, like, take some of these colors and mix them with white. So it's just off a shade. Oh, well, we had a couple days like that too, Stephanie, where we weren't feeling good and then it turned out to be nothing. But man, there is some illness going around. Speaking of which, I have to call the doctor's office because I got a notice yesterday from the school that Lily has all these unexcused absences. And I said, what? You know, because the doctors were supposed to fax a note to the school, and they did not. So the days that she was out with strep throat came up as uh, unexcused. So the school, you know, like they send you a warning. Like, you can't have unexcused absences. You must send a note. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, I was so mad. And, of course, I read it right after the doctor's office closed last night. So I had to stew on it all night. Sit there and just get mad. You know, I haven't been too impressed with the doctor's office lately. And I understand, like, I understand that it's a busy time and stuff. But, you know, they know there's an amoxicillin shortage. And still, they sent two amoxicillin prescriptions in 
for my kids when they were sick. And uh, I had to wait hours just for them to call in another prescription, you know. I said to her, I said, just don't, just send in, you know, another antibiotic. Don't bother with the amoxicillin. Yeah, she did. She bothered. And I had to wait at Walmart for a different, for them to first of all, call in a different prescription. Oh, this is impressive. This paint is like one giant booger. Yeah, I tried to do that. I, I asked, I said, hey, you know, can I get a doctor's note? Because they're meeting people in their cars. If you have a fever, they're not letting you in the office. So I was like, you know, could you just bring me out a doctor's note? And she says, oh, well, do you want me to fax one over? And I said, oh, well, that would be fine, you know? Yeah, well, she didn't. So there, I won't let her offer that ever again. Mom, what? I looked, honey, and I didn't find them. They're in that, they must be in the mess behind your bed or in the toy box. I don't know what's in the toy box. I haven't looked in there in ages. Okay, well look. Look away. But everything's on top of it, so I can eat. You can take that stuff down. You're a big girl. But if I do it by myself, then I'll get too shadowed. <laughs> well, you'll have to wait a minute, okay? I'll take care of my baby. Okay, you're babysitting lilies too? Yeah. My kids have all of a sudden developed an interest in the Tamagotchis that they got for Christmas last year. I think it's funny. Those little, like, remote, those little, you know, critters, you gotta take care of them. Little, like, computerized dudes. I need my trash. I have this Walmart bag. I had to bring paints to Girl Scouts last night, so I'll just use that to get the paint boogers off of my knife with here. My, my blade yep, Mom. spreader. Lily made cute. If this is the happy. Oh, that is nuts. And you are nuts. Are these the same? No, they're not. Maybe they are. Maybe they're the same color, different brands. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of kids sick in her school. Like, they had a, a trip. Older kids, fourth and fifth grade, went to Washington, D.C. a couple weeks ago. And I was talking to one of the moms that went, and I guess that one kid had went with the flu. Went on the trip with the flu. That'd be the day. That'd be the day I'd want to go anywhere with the flu. I don't even want to be in my own skin with the flu. Let alone be in my own skin on a bus full of people going to Washington, D.C. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hello, all you lurking people. Welcome. Welcome to my mess. Oh, yeah, me too. I, I just can't even... When she was telling me about it, you know, this poor kid, the, you know, I mean, I understand that these parents are spending big bucks to go to send their kids. But if my kid was sick, there ain't no amount of money. I'm this sorry. Is empty. It is? Yeah. Well, then it must be in the stuff behind your bed where the baskets were on the floor. Unless you put them in one of your bags with all of your little special things. Yeah, or the little backpack thingy. Didn't you have a little backpack thingy that you used? What backpack thingy? A little plastic um, blue and orange one. I don't, I can't find, wait, is that, in the, was that, is that the one that's in the car? I don't know. Because the one that's in the car is just blue. It was so dark when I brought Lily to school this morning because it's, you know, uh, crappy weather. I could not, I couldn't believe how dark it was. 
It was like nighttime outside. Yeah. And then it's supposed to change, you know, it's supposed to. Sorry, cha-ching. I didn't realize that makes noise when I, nothing else makes noise when I stream, just that, apparently. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be sunny when she gets out of school, I guess. It's supposed to break up this rain. Oh, is it today Wednesday? Doesn't Dee Dee go on on Wednesday? I forget. I forget what day it is. I don't even know. The only thing I know is that my alarm goes off at a different time on Saturday and Sunday than it does Monday through Friday. And I get to sleep for an extra few minutes. Other than that, I have no clue. My brain just doesn't work. <clears throat> hope that everybody is getting some Christmas crafting done. I actually started making Christmas stuff in October, but it takes me a long time to get a project done because of all the things we had we have to do here. We're supposed to see and that's that's what's coming my way, Stephanie, is we're supposed to get it's supposed to um Cool way down. Like right now, it's in the 50s, I think. But tomorrow, it's gonna be that. It's gonna be like that. It's gonna, it might be in the 40s. So so yeah. Bringing in the cold. There were um, tornadoes, I guess, in the deeper south. Which you know, I hope everybody is okay. Hey, Randy. Thanks for coming to hang out. Uh, so if any of my, you know, further south friends are listening, I hope you're okay. Because when tornadoes come overnight, that's the, you know, they're scary anyway, but when they come overnight, it's even worse because you don't know they're coming until you hear it. I mean, I went through a tornado during the day and that was bad enough. You know, the sound, oh. Crazy. I just feel for anybody who has to um, go through a tornado, especially the places that they where they get them regularly. Oh, talk about scary! Hey, look, I'm doing a good job. I'm not as covered in paint as I was last night. Well, last night I was battling with drop paper too, though. The drop paper I was using was uh, like a craft paper I had gotten in a package. Oh, it's awful. I just kept moving around. Mom. What, babe? Can you find any clothes that I need? No, I looked through those baskets. That's the best I can do. You've got to look through the stuff on the floor. Why do I have to do everything by myself? Because of my mother. <laughs> you guys hear that? you very much I um I try to keep it fresh you know I haven't I have a box of stuff I gotta take pictures of and list and I haven't had a chance to but I do try and keep it updated like every few weeks at least put some put some fresh stuff in there I try I do try I try to make my customers happy I mean some of them you're just not gonna make happy one woman uh, I just really, there's been like two or three people I think that I just really ruined their lives by purchasing things from my store. <laughs> it's, you know, you're not going to make everyone happy. It just cracks me up. It cracks me up the things that people complain about. You know, uh, let's use this metallic. I think the metallics, they show up different like that. Folk art one I think is more gold looking and this I think is more green looking.
Yeah, this one looks more green when it's painted on. The other one needs like a golder finish. Oh, that's rough, Randy. You know, I get the same problem with my kids. I try to get them outside too, and they stay and they get lazy. Nah, not my oldest. She's pretty good, but my youngest, she she complains. Oh, it's not raining where you are yet. Yeah, it's been raining here. I don't know. It started at some point overnight. The only thing I know is that when I went out to start my car this morning, it was pouring. And then when I got back on the porch, the rain slowed down. I said, go figure. Only when I'm out in it does it start to pour. Oh, Western Mass. My brother's in Western Mass. I'm from Massachusetts. I'm from Worcester area. My brother's in Springfield. And yeah, you guys are expecting it. You guys are expecting some later on. Hey, it could be snow. It is that time of year that it could be snow. I used to work in Greenfield. Actually, there is a Verizon store in Greenfield. I worked there, um, you know, on and off about, I don't know, uh, 2009, 2010. It's a nice ride. It's a nice ride to Greenfield. Yep, I work there. Yeah, near the big Y. Yep. <laughs> Only thing I remember, which was the set, there were two different stores I worked at that were next to a Subway, so it smelled like Subway in there. Made me hungry all day. Now, I live in North Carolina. I got out of New England. I come from a town called Southbridge, and it's really rough, uh, you know, It's, it's a town that used to be really nice and it's gone way downhill. And, um, you know, I, I couldn't raise my kids there. And the cost of living up there has just got, is just getting higher and higher and higher and I just couldn't. You know, I, I needed to, I wanted to raise my kids somewhere where I didn't have to worry so much. But, so that's how I ended up down here. Yeah, a lot of areas. It's so populated. That's why there's so many people. And it's not, you know, it's crime just goes up, up, up. You know, I'm sorry, but I cannot justify paying the property tax or the rent or whatever in that state to be afraid my car is going to get broken into or some my kids' toys are going to get stolen or whatever. You know, these are things that happen to me. Things got stolen, cars got broken into. No, it's not as bad out west, west, like where you are, way west. But like my brother's got to worry about it in Springfield, absolutely. <clears throat> you know, I, I don't want to have to deal with that. I want a slower, quieter, you know, I picked a good place, the schools are good, and you know, which was on a whim. I didn't know what the schools were going to be like when we moved here, but it worked out nicely. Even the schools, my schools, um, where I went to school, the te the state has taken over in Southbridge. The state has stepped in like they did in Holyoke um, because Southbridge was just getting out of control with problems. Yeah, the shootings are everywhere. We're, we even get them all the time in Greensboro. I feel like three times a week I put the news on and it's like a shooting overnight in Greensboro, a shooting overnight in Winston-Salem, a shooting overnight. Last night, 
I don't know the whole story. The only thing I know is what they said on the news. They said two teenage kids, a 16 and a 17 year old kid, were walking down a road and a car pulled over and shot them. They're expected to survive, but a car pulled over and shot at them. Anyway, I mean, come on. Teenage kids. And teenage kids are doing the shootings. No, no, don't be informed. Yeah, I don't have, to, I have the antenna. So I watch the local news, and the only reason I did that was because I didn't have an antenna. I didn't watch anything. But we do have random, really bad weather. So I, I want to make sure that, I want to make sure that I'm informed of the weather. Um, but yeah, it's crazy, the shootings. It is crazy. And then there was a guy, he lives in the town my mom lives in over here. Uh, he was just arrested for weapons of mass destruction and plotting against the government. <laughs> oh my God. What is wrong? What is wrong with our world? You know, and I've driven by this guy's house. He has all kinds of like political signs outside about the government and I mean, crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah, I have the little antenna, and it works pretty nice. Even though I'm out here in the woods, I pick up, you know, quite a few channels. I like the little antenna. It's got, you know, I get a, a half a dozen channels I, that come in really good. And that is enough for me. I just learned that I have ABC, so I can watch, like, you know, they do the Christmas movies on ABC. I can watch those with the kids. That'll be fun. They do a different one every night or whatever. Um, but yeah, Greenfield is beautiful. I, I used to love get, going into Greenfield and seeing the, you know, seeing the mountain. And then you got the Mohawk Trail right there. I used to drive along the Mohawk Trail. But, and, and uh, Stephanie, where you are too now, you guys have to worry about tornadoes in Ohio. They're happening all the time. They're happening all over the country, really. All right, good luck. Thank you for hanging out. It was nice. It was nice. Good luck in the rain. It's funny because I have this cheap glitter paint, the one I just used a minute ago. I got it from... I don't know. I don't know if this came from Dollar Tree. I think it did. I think this came from Dollar Tree. And it's nicer than that expensive one. Oh, so it's been going on there. See, I didn't hear about, I never heard much about tornadoes in Kentucky until recently, you know, until, but then again, they did, they might not have shared, you know, the news. Now the news has to share every single time someone walks across the street, you know, so they probably just were like, you know, that's not important for people in North Carolina. But that tornado, I watched like a special about that tornado that went through Kentucky in that factory. Oh my goodness gracious. That is like... Tornadoes are scary. Hurricanes are scary. We used to get those nor'easter blizzards up north and every once in a while you get caught out in one of those and that is scary. But a tornado is freaking scary. I don't think there's many things scarier than a tornado. Maybe like a volcano or a landslide. You know, that might oh, be right up there too. A heart attack. Or a heart attack, as Vera just said, might be heart scary. Attack. I'll tell you something. Hmm. I watch a guy on YouTube. <laughs> it's a heart attack. Though. He has a heart attack at his house. It was a really big tornado. And it picked up every single thing in his house that he liked oh my goodness and, he, and then he was houseless oh boy well when i lived up in massachusetts that's a, that's a we had a tornado that came through and it ruined a house one of my friend's houses oh that's cool cincinnati's right across the river yeah, we drove over. We had to drive out. <laughs> we drove to Kansas once for a motor. 
and uh, we drove through there. We drove through Louis Louisville, and uh, we drove across the Ohio River. Well, hello, lovely Lucy. How are you today? Long time no see. Oh, this whole bottle is going to be one big pink booger. Yeah, I have a friend that lives in Louisville, and he moved to Massachusetts, like, um, to help out the company I was working for, and we became friends, and uh, he loved Kentucky. He, he was like, Massachusetts was just too, too mean for him. You know, he was a nice, he was a nice country boy. He wasn't, he wasn't into our moody, attitude -y New England ways. But I've always wanted to like stay and visit in Louisville, but just haven't had a chance. Maybe someday we'll put, I'll put it on my they list of places. Sense. Oh my goodness. Well, thanks for coming by. That's, that's nice. Yeah, I don't usually get to stream in the mornings, but it's like, you know, it's rainy here and um, kind of a slow start, Can I guess. Can you help me turn this up? Turn it, why is the volume off? There, the volume's on. I figured, you know, maybe I would catch a different crowd if I streamed in the morning than the afternoon and get to hang out with, with more of my friends. That paint is going to be the death of me. I am so mad. You know, I get so mad because you spend money on these paints. And like that one is from Hobby Lobby. I only buy their paint when it's on sale. But it's, you know, over a dollar a bottle. And then it turns out the whole bottle is a booger. Really aggravating Hobby Lobby. I had a metallic one too. It won't mix. It will not stay mixed. And it's a beautiful color. But it just won't. It just. I have one of those milk frothers. I'm thinking about just taking that and sticking it in there. You know, I probably wouldn't be able to use it on milk ever again. Which doesn't matter because I'm not drinking coffee anymore anyway. I don't think froth milk would be good in tea. But, yeah. Disappointing. Disappointing. Alright, I might want to shift gears because I got a lot of green here. I might want to do something a little... A little different. I don't have any of my stencils out. So I can't, you know, that would take me forever to get those out. But I did to get my, I'll, I'll make a video later doing the detail work of this. Because um, I'm going to use my, I use my jelly plate as a, as an ink pad, you know, and I just put paint on it. And I use my foam, like I got these foam stamps. And then I make, I made some of my own stamps with foam stickies. So I took out some Christmas stuff. So I'll, I'll do that, you know, but what I wanted to make was, um, some sky looking colors. And the reason is, uh, I went to Salvation Army last week and they had 50% off everything in the store. It was Black Friday. And in there was a tin and in the tin was three or four tins, all toy tins. And I said, oh, I really want to make a little Christmas diorama, diorama because I saw the, I've been seeing them on Pinterest, you know, the little Christmas scenes. So I said, well, I want to make some sky that I could put in there because I have a bunch of Altoid tins anyway. Mom. So I said, I'm going to make some sky Mom. to put in my tins. What? What does this mean? That means he's sick. So you got to go to this. So you gotta go to this one here. See with the little shot thing? Yeah. Push that and that'll give him medicine. Okay. Um, but I have Altoid tins and one of them, the girl used a sardine can and we do eat sardines sometimes. Yeah, I'm gonna do some napkins too. Um, we So I washed out a sardine but can Mom, last night too. Every time I come like and give him medicine, why does he give a little X on the butt? On on the side of him and do ah, da, da, da. That means he's happy. Now he's happy. See, now he's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. 
but I'm going to stamp on napkins like the napkin whites. I like to stamp on the napkin whites to use in my Christmas journal. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do some of those because I'm all out. That is one thing. I did make quite a few of those a couple years back and I ran out. So I'm going to stamp on some napkin whites. You can't do, you usually can't do that with paint. Usually that has to be done with uh, ink because the paint will tear the, the napkin pieces, but it's still, they come out really nice. And I have a ton of more Christmas stamps, acrylic ones. So I might try those. I don't know how different those will be compared to the foamy ones because the foam ones are kind of forgiving, you know, the acrylic might be, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe like too sharp, but who cares? I'll try. So maybe I'll do my, maybe I'll do the diorama for the fourth uh, Saturday hop that Maridel Abrams does, the Mariatier. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll do a die because the theme this month is holiday. So maybe I'll try that. Or the holiday theme. I have a darker blue I was trying to get last night. Ooh, I have this metallic. That was, I came across that one on accident at the Creative Leaf store. Uh, let's see, here we go. Midnight blue. I want to put some dark, you know, colors in too here and there. Because I'm only going to need a small section, so I can use different... I could have sky, you know. I could have all different kinds of skies on this one piece of paper to use. That wasn't giving me the color I thought it would. But, I mean, it's still dark, and you can still see some of the gray through it, so I guess it'll be good enough. Like in the things I've seen on Pinterest, that when they do those dioramas, they, um, I don't know where they get those pictures of like the little, you know, vintage Christmas kid looking. I don't know where they get those pictures. I'm going to use, I might just use paper dolls. I don't know. The paper dolls will fit. I might have to cut them or use the ones that are sitting, you know. But I also bought some things from Dollar Tree, like. They have the little Christmas trees, which I'm going to do. I might do one with a little, I have some little reindeer I might put in there or a little Santa Claus, you know, so, you know, we have options here. We have options. We have options of little things. I love little things. You know, I just love miniature stuff. I follow a lot on Instagram too. I follow a lot of Instagram, um, artists that do miniature like this one woman she the only thing she does is she creates little scenes little rooms or whatever in her walls like between the studs on the floor she moves the mop board or the mop board there's a door and that's what she does she uh she creates little scenes inside of her wall I thought that was so cool. I'm like, wow, I could never, I could never imagine cutting my into my mop board and doing that. Ooh, we can do gray and silver too. Ooh, yeah. This is all of Lily's recent schoolwork. Never mind. I'm kind of, man, I'm not going to lie, like these folk arts and some, some of these paints, I'm kind of disgusted. These companies charge all kinds of money for their products, for them to be crap. So there, I just gave, I gave away my secret for what I'm going to do for the fourth art Saturday hop. I didn't get to do it this month. I couldn't think of a sciencey thing. And then, like, you watch everybody else's videos, and you're like, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what happens. That's what happens to me. Then, all of a sudden, I get the inspiration when I see everybody else's, when I see everybody else's stuff. Uh, let's put dark blue on first, and then we'll put some silver. Metallic sky is awesome. I 
I did make um, a few years back, I made painting papers and I didn't have a good red and I made my own dark red and it came out so dark. <laughs> she was like black. It was like a black red. Oh, it was so dark. So this year I could do some red painting papers to make into like a master board. I have reds. It's like I it's like you you collect thousands of bottles of craft paint and then one day you need a color and in those thousands of bottles that color does not exist. That's that's where I get. That's where I go. That's my luck. Oh, this is not mixed. Come on now. See, like the nerve of these companies. They have this cruddy, cruddy paint. So this will be nice because it'll leave a shimmer. My sky will be shimmery. I might take my sponge too. I like to use the sponge and blot to add some texture. Maybe we'll get the sponge out. We'll try that on a couple of these. It's just a regular sponge you buy in the craft section or the paint section at Walmart. I think mine came from the paint section at Walmart. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been really into using the, the sponge as one of my weapons of choice. See this right here? That's it, just a sponge. And as you can see, I use it all different colors. All right, we are gonna do some, we'll do some of this dark blue, I guess. Um, let me grab my cup, my container, my container lid. Sorry for my big fat arm, my foam I use for stamping. I do wish I could get, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I know I can, I just gotta look. A full size foam sheet for when I stamp. All right, I'm gonna mix some of this midnight blue and, ready for this? And, 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 I'm gonna mix some metallic black in with it while I'm sponging it on there. Just a little bit. I'm gonna make some dark skies. And then when I do the paint, when I use this as a sky, I can uh, add stars and whatever flick stars or stamps or whatever into this darkened sky. I'm sorry, but I'm shaking the camera. All right, so it was a test. I like how that looks. We'll do it again. This and black. Last year, or not last year, but a couple years ago, I made painting papers where I put a whole bunch of shades of blue on one page, and then I used um, my snowflake. I had a big... I have a snowflake um, foam stamp. And what I thought those would be good for would be cards if you cut it out and back it with like a mat um, in, you know, a complementary color, maybe black or white or one of the blues that's in it, you know. I thought that that would be cool with those stamped uh, painting papers that I did. I haven't used them yet, so I might do that. But I do like the texture that the napkin gives. Very nice. Very nice. And then that metallic black would give it a little bit of a shimmer too, you know, in the dark sky. I may not even have to add stars because of the empty spaces from the sponge.
But as much as I love to make random painting papers, I do sometimes like to have a theme and a purpose to do them, you know. And then I, sometimes I'll get my dry brush out and I'll do some dry brushing to create like streaks. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe some shooting stars. Uh, we'll do some dark on this one because see, I already. Uh, actually, no, I kind of like that up there, so we're just going to leave that. Oof, don't land on my wet stuff, though. Come on, now. I could, I could add some texture to this. Somebody needs something, I guess. Well, I don't see anything that they need. I'm sorry. All right. So, girls, I am going to let this stuff dry. And then with the green ones, I will make a video later where I stencil and stamp. And then um, maybe I'll do some stenciling on these too, you know, with fine little designs. But I am going to get going so that we can get some work done and finish my countertop. So I blot this off on my paper before I go rinse it off. Got to use every last drop of paint, y'all. Every drop. Every drop. So I want to thank you all for hanging out with me. Uh... It was fun. I like them doing a morning stream once in a while. So I will. Uh, you'll be seeing some videos from me. I got a video coming of my Christmas journal and I have a flip through Friday coming on Friday. So keep an eye out. Alrighty. Ta-ta for now.